Hi, I'm Bob Duncan, inventor of the First Class Sleeper. My family and I want to thank you for your purchase. We're confident you're going to get hours and hours of quality sleep and comfort with proper usage. Please take a few moments to view this instructional video so you can maximize the comfort and the benefits that our product provides. Proper inflation is the most important factor to getting maximum comfort from your first class sleeper. Every person has a unique body size and proportion, so the recommended number of breaths for the proper distribution of air will vary slightly from person to person. People weighing between 150 and 225 pounds will need only 10 to 11 deep breaths of air, while smaller people will need a few more breaths, larger people will need slightly less air. For convenience, your sleeper comes with an adapter hose that allows for quick inflation using the plane's overhead air vent. Keep in mind that inflating the sleeper using this method will only take a couple of seconds. If you overinflate your sleeper, simply release the excess air. New users should take a moment to make subtle adjustments to find the ideal inflation for their body size and weight. This uninflated U-shaped impression at the top of the sleeper is where your head and neck are supported. For maximum comfort, it's important that your head and neck are cradled into this area. If there is a gap between your neck and the sleeper, simply reach back with both hands, grab the upper corners, and pull them up to ensure the inflated portion of the sleeper is positioned above the base of your neck. When positioning your sleeper, be sure and place it on the back half of the seat bottom and sit on the forward half of the seat. It's very important to be seated with your hips located on the front half of the seat. Sitting directly on the sleeper will not allow proper air distribution. Before you lean back, be sure and fasten the seat belt snug enough to hold you in place. A snug seat belt holds your hips in the correct forward position and allows your legs to stretch out under the seat in front of you, giving you maximum comfort. Whereas a seat belt that is too loose will give you the sensation as if you were sliding forward. By following these simple placement and inflation instructions, you'll be able to stretch out and relax in a nearly flat plane, similar to your own bed. When seated, remember to always keep your seat belt fastened. This will keep flight attendants from reminding you to buckle up and disturbing your rest. The first class sleeper can also be used as lumbar only support. To do this, simply inflate with just three to four breaths of air, fold in half, and sit back as normal. This will give you one of the best lumbar pillows on the market today. To deflate your first class sleeper, simply open the valve and allow your body weight to push the air out. Then fold it in half and roll it up like a sleeping bag, squeezing out any remaining air. Total deflation and storage can be done easily in under a minute. Although the first class sleeper is very simple to use, first time users may over or under inflate the device. With this example, the user has under inflated the sleeper. You can tell because their chin is tilted too far down towards their chest. Under inflation of the sleeper will leave it feeling too soft, resulting in inadequate support. This example shows a sleeper that is over inflated. By overinflating, your chin will be forced to tilt up and away from your body, resulting in neck strain. Overinflating the sleeper will leave it feeling too hard, as if a beach ball was placed behind your back. Remember that proper inflation generally requires only 10 to 11 breaths. Experiment the first time you use the sleeper and find out what's perfect for you. The first class sleeper is also great for automobile passengers, high back office chairs, and home lounge chairs. Use of the sleeper in these environments may require a third less air than with a standard coach seat. If you're in business class or first class, the sleeper will require about a third more air. Never use the first class sleeper while driving a car or operating any kind of machinery. And do not use the fully inflated sleeper during takeoff or landing and always wear your seatbelt. There you go, that's all there is to it. Thank you for purchasing your first class sleeper.